Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Zumbo's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making pepper steak. So with me I have some peppers, onion, some garlic, and our sirloin strip steak. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. Alright, so we are going to take our peppers and chop them into strips. Very simple. You can have them as thick or as thin as you want them. It's all up to you and your preference. I like to do, you know, about this size. Decent size. They're going to have to cook down anyway, so we don't want them too done too quickly. So, So there's our green. I have orange. Now, you can do any color you want. You could just do all green. You could do all red. You could do all uh, orange. You could do all yellow. I just cut that one in half. That's okay, though. Can I help you, cat? Sorry, my cat's biting my feet. That's okay, I'm used to it. So I'll just cut that. And then we got our red. Dude, what are you doing? Okay. And then you could take out the seeds and you could plant them and grow your own peppers. I'm just going to cut like so. I decided I had a taste for this dish, so I said, you know what, I'm going to make it. Otherwise, I forgot what I was going to make. And actually, I'm going to save the seeds. Let's save the seeds. I'm just going to wipe those down like that. Alright, then... Onion. I'm going to go like that peel it off and then I'm going to cut it down and peel off the layer and then for the onion instead of chopping it like normal I'm gonna do ribbons so just like that now, since I have a small onion, I might do two, but I think one is going to be enough. But you can add more or less onion as you want. So add that into the bowl. Peel this one. And just cut it like so. And then I'm going to do about maybe two to three cloves of garlic as well. I want big pieces. Yeah. That yeah, should be good. Going to put those off to the side. And then, whoops. And there he goes. And then this, I'm not going to add in with the peppers and onions, but I'm going to add this to the to a, a separate bowl and then put this in the very last minute. On the back pan, which I'll show you in a minute, the, on the stove, I do have a, a pot with water ready to boil for the rice. So we're just going to chop this up. Chop it how thin or thick you want the garlic, it is up to you. Oh, I didn't even take this one off. Whoops. There we go. Just go like that. All right, that looks good. All right. Okay. Let's go 
ahead and turn this on. Sorry about the noise. It's the fan in the microwave. It's so the smoke alarm won't go off. So let's, let's lift this up real fast. In this pot right here, this is going to be the boiling. This is the water for the rice. This pot is where we're going to do everything else. The meat, um, the peppers, and onions. So I'm going to add. Um, I'm going to do avocado oil again, just because I actually really like using this. Go like that. Then. We're gonna cook the meat first. So, to the meat. It's gonna be our normal seasonings. Salt. We've got our onion powder. We've got our garlic powder. And we got our pepper. Like that. And I'm just going to take. Tom, you can just move around to get my delicious. Separate them a little bit. There we go. And you can use any meat, uh, any steak for this, I feel. As long as it's in strips, I feel like that's the best, best way to do it. That's how I used to. I used to have it as a kid. So. Let this cook. Let's just kind of let it get nice and brown. And we'll be back. So, you know, let this cook out. So, let it cook out. So, let it rest for a little. For a little. And then with all of this, we're just going to cook our peppers and onions. And then I'm just going to add in a little garlic powder, a little onion powder. And then we're just going to get this, let's go, get a lot of these down, let these soften uh, when, before we have in the garlic, and then we will combine everything together with some rice. So I just added in the garlic. This is a nice stir. This, this smells delicious, not gonna lie. It smells heavenly. Oh, and it's, and so we'll let this a little bit longer. These are still a little bit hard. You can kind of tell just by kind of squeezing them. So, 
Hey, if you like it like that, that's fine. You know, a little crunch doesn't hurt. I'm gonna cook mine for a few more minutes until they're a little bit softer. And then we're gonna add this whole meal together. Okay, so now we're gonna add back in the meat. We're gonna just kind of pour all this over on. Kind of quick one. Then we're going to add in our rice. And all I did with the rice was I did uh, some butter and then some garlic salt. We'll just move this around. So now you could eat this just like this. I mean, I could. However, I'm going to add in a can of tomato sauce. This is how I had a forsaken in my early days. So, this is how I'm making it. Then, we're just going to take this and move this around. Make sure everything is coated, everything is delicious. And then we're going to let this boil a little. And I'm not going to add anything to the to the um, sauce because it's going to mend with the meat. It's going to mend with the vegetables. It's almost like a uh, stuffed peppers, just not in a pepper. Oh, that looks delicious. So now I'm going to let this kind of bubble a little bit for about like five minutes. And then we'll, we'll finish the product. All right, hello everyone. So this is the final product. Oh, doesn't that look good? Oh, as it drips over to the side. <sighs> okay, let's taste this. Get some pepper. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Now let's try the meat. Mm. Mm. The meat is very flavorful, very delicious. Mm -mm -mm. But that does it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed this. This was actually really good to make. I can't wait to sit down and actually enjoy this for real. Because I'm be having like three helpings of this. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember to be the best you can be. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!